Now, the Million Man March, we have an image of that behind me. This was a mass gathering of African Americans in Washington, D.C. back in 1995. But there was a question after the march, were there a million people there? That became a source of conflict following an important political event. Initial accounts varied wildly from 400,000 people to 2 million. Well, now researchers from Warwick University here in the UK think they may have found uh, a good answer to the notoriously difficult question of how big is a crowd. They use geographical data from mobile phones and Twitter to try to tell how many people are at a single location at one time. Well, Federico Botta led that study. He's a PhD student at the University of Warwick. Uh, Federico, thank you for joining us. Hello, and thank you. Tell us a little bit more about what you've done that's different, because normally it is a really human judgment, the police or the authorities, who get to judge the size of a crowd. But what did you do? So you're absolutely right. You made the excellent example of the Million Man March, where figures of the number of people, as you said, ranged from hundreds of thousands to millions. What we thought at the Data Science Lab in Warwick Business School was, most people now are walking around with smartphones in their pockets. And most smartphones are connecting to the internet to download emails. Can we use the information through these, of these smartphones to estimate the number of people in a crowd? And did it work? Yeah, so this um, was an excellent result that we found. It was really, really exciting and fascinating. We considered, for example, a football stadium. We uh, considered this case because it was a very a uh, simple case where we could get accurate estimates of the number of people attending a football match just by the number of tickets that have been sold. So we compared this figure to the activity of mobile phones or Twitter and we found a very exciting result. We were absolutely excited when we saw it and the strength of the relationship is amazing and the information present in mobile phones is indeed able to estimate accurately and quickly the number of people in the crowd, such as in the football stadium. And Federico, I know this matters not just for political argument's sake, but you know the authorities need to know how many people in a crowd in case of an emergency. So it really helps to know how big your crowd is. Um, but what are the, the limitations here? What are the, the, uh, the caveats? Yes, of course, there are many different people that can be interested in this kind of study. For example, the police, you mentioned authorities, they might be interested in the protest and how many people there are in the protest. Now, possible limitations, of course, are due to the availability of data. Some of these data are not freely available. So in our study, we relied on communication data that were made available by a mobile phone company in Italy that set up a challenge and released these data sets. So it's got to be collaborative. Federico, thank you for taking us through your research and your new methods. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for inviting me. Thank you.